Oh, an energy company. I like energy companies. They're usually fairly easy to uh, fairly easy to figure out. So, CN Energy Group. What kind of energy do they deal with, and why is Yahoo taking so long to load? Reclaiming my time. Reclaiming my time, Yahoo. Reclaiming my time. CN CN at that. Man, you know what? It's it's hard for this mic to stay on my head. Apparently. CN Energy Group manufactures and supplies wood, wood based, wood based activated carbon in China. Wait, isn't wood based activated carbon? Isn't that isn't that basically charcoal? Like I don't know a whole lot about charcoal and grilling, but like that's what charcoal is, right? It's 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 wood based carbon. Uh, okay, so they, so they produce Chinese char Chinese charcoal. Uh, its its product is primarily used in pharmaceutical and industrial manufacturing, water purification, environmental protection. Uh, <laughs> surprising, China does environmental protection. Uh, anyway, please don't pay me for that. Food and beverage production markets. Uh, company also serves activated carbon wholesalers and companies engaging in the blah blah blah, blah produces supplies. Blah 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 blah. So, I'm pretty sure that's what charcoal is. I'm pretty sure charcoal is wood activated or uh, wood based activated carbon but i could be completely wrong so first thing i notice here is there's not a whole lot of news articles and there's no earnings so that indicates to me this is probably a new company if when if we look at the max click this max button it'll show us how far back this company goes uh as a publicly traded company and yes i was right looks like it's only been trading for less than a month uh, IPO'd apparently on February 5th, so I'm probably not going to have a whole lot to go off of here, but still, this is a speed run. We're going to make the best attempt here. Already, this is a very weird chart because, look, sideways, 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 something happened here, I guess, and then sideways, sideways, sideways. So, this is, this is, this is pretty much, a so like, this is, it's been trading... Let's see, the 5th, what's today? Today's the 20th, but 20 for 15 days, it's been completely sideways for all those 15 days, aside for what happened here. So, let's go take a look at what happened here. What happened on February 10th? Um, so, announces pricing, so they priced. Um, what was their price, anyway? I want to see what the difference between the pr the pricing they did and what the shares actually opened at, because those don't always match up. Uh, a very popular example of this would probably be Airbnb last year, where they priced at, I want to say 60-something? Or was it 80-something? It was something like that. You know, whatever they thought the shares were worth. But then it opens, and everyone, everyone's grabbing shares, and it shot up to like 150 or something. So... And, and and for and for the little people, the retail traders, that opening price they list really doesn't mean jack, because you had zero chance of getting in at that price anyway. Uh, but it's still an interesting metric of the difference between how much the market thinks something is worth versus how much the company itself thinks something is worth. So let's go take a look in here. Um, China-based manufacturer and supplier of wood-based activated carbon. Again, I'm pretty sure that's, I'm pretty sure that's what charcoal is. Um, today announced pricing of its initial public, a public offering, 5 million shares at $4. So they are basically telling the market, hey, we're going to sell these shares to you for $4 because that's what we think our company is worth. Uh, $4 times 5 million would give them a valuation of, that's 20 million, right? Um, yes. Well, the market cap here says 107, so there must have been other shares outstanding, maybe held by insiders or whatnot. But that's but that's but that's what they at least offer to the public. But looking here, it actually opened trading at 511. Let's see if I go if I look at this full screen chart. If I click on this to go to the full screen chart, it actually opened on. Let's go. Let's go to max. What the hell? No, this doesn't help me. Oh, it didn't go to the start. Oh, shot Yahoo. What? Oh. Yeah, so about... Well, I mean, it's definitely not four. It's over five, right? And then it looks like they closed the offering. So some people bought 
and then now it's up it's up, it's up near six. So that's kind of again kind of a bit of a hard pick here um, because I don't have a whole lot of information to go off of. And it's and it's very strange that it that it goes sideways, very steadily sideways. Which concerns me a bit because it makes me want to say it's not a buy because I don't see I don't see any good news on the horizon. Again, I don't have much to go off of, but I don't see any good news on good news on the horizon. But then again, you know, there's there's, there's no bad news. So this one this one's kind of difficult to, and I'm gonna, and I'm going to have to go with and I'm going to have to go with a hold here. Hold for CNEY.